everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We are on a, uh, a winning streak. Don't even listen to that where it says one down there. That's just straight up bunk. We're on a winning streak that I would previously have considered uh, almost unfathomable. We won the last chest run with Eve. Uh, Polaroid run, I guess, is a better way to, to call it. Samson's decked out, Azazel's decked out. Lazarus needs a negative kill. Maybe Lazarus was the last run? I can't remember. I think it was Eve, though. Eden needs... Let's do it. Eden's fun. We'll use that to break up the monotony because obviously we will have a, um, uh, like a blue baby one next. All right. BS. Bullshit detector. Warning. 24 fucks in your xenon. Oh, man. My xenon's all messed up. Okay. It looks like we have stem cells and the bean, which is my favorite buddy cop movie from the 80s. It's really good. It stars, uh, Tom Hanks and then, uh,. Haley Joel Osment plays a, um, he plays a, a talking kidney bean. It's pretty fucked up. I don't even know, he's not, he doesn't strike me as a legumey type of guy. Not that I'm trying to say anything by that. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not loving the idea of fighting Super Wrath right off the bat, but maybe we can get a sweet item or at least some bombs. And he's not that bad, the bean did a lot of damage to him. It'd be nice if he wasn't a ghost, you know, like if I could actually hit him with my bullets, but you can't always get what you want, I suppose. We did all that for one bomb and one key, and you know what? I feel relatively okay about that. How do I feel about this, uh, this combination that we've gotten, this item combination? You know, um, could be better. This room is relatively easy. I thought there would be at least one more. Um... I think the bean is an okay starting spacebar item. Oh my god, 10 cents for free, don't mind if I do, that's why you shoot the poop, I guess. Yeah, I feel like the bean is an okay starting, there we go, space bar item. I also feel like maybe it's not equivalent to being 1 HP down, but it's certainly not as terrible as some Eden runs that you could get. I've had ones where I just basically did like, uh, I had like a shitty space bar item, like notched axe or something like that, and was a little lower on HP, so... Um, I guess I can't really complain about the situation we find ourselves in right now. I actually kind of like the bean as a spacebar item, at least until we get a little bit further into the game. Once we get further into the game, we reach the point where, uh, you know, items like the bean get outpaced pretty easily. But, yeah, as you can see, you know, here on the cellar, they're doing a pretty good job. You know, when Donnie Darko drew Barry more famous, well, as her character, famously said, cellar door is considered, ugh, like, one of the most beautiful phrases in the English language. And I think, um, she, she was kind of ignorant of some of the other more beautiful words in the English language, like perhaps analingus. I don't know what it means, but it always rolls off the tongue nice. Leaves a good taste in your mouth. Um, okay. That was just off the top of my head, and it was gross, so I apologize. Pin is dead. Magic Mush is the most beautiful upgrade that you can pretty much get right off the bat. All stats up. How can I complain about anything now? I still will, but how can I? Not going to the shop on that floor, obviously. Uh, we will go to the curse room on this floor, but we're gonna have to find ourselves the boss room first, because I would love to get a chance to take a deal with the devil. In in many- oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. I mean, I, I meant to shoot it like three times, but then I meant to stop shooting it <laughs> before it exploded. I didn't mean to shoot it three times, I was just kind of like mindlessly, you know, popping away at it as I got into the room. But anyway, uh, we could have used that to get a lot of money out of our blood bank, but so be it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, on this floor... I will be on the lookout for maybe enough money to make our uh, shop worthwhile, but if we don't manage to get that, you know, life goes on. And, well, now that we have two keys, we'll probably still try. Uh, I don't see any tinted rocks over there. Okay. Uh, we'll just hope to get through this boss fight then. It would be nice to have, like, a spirit heart to kind of buoy me through it, but, you know, we're just fighting the Widow. No big deal. Would have been nice if the poison actually worked there, but... Widow is uh, notorious for not really having that much HP, and in fact is already dead. If I could just hit it one more time without getting hit, easy game, easy life. Meat is maybe like the second best upgrade that you can get next to like the pentagram or something. And you know what? I'm gonna take uh, Headless Baby. I don't think Headless Baby is necessarily worth the, the health when you're not super high on health. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think it's a big deal. I took it half for the... Uh, you know, half for the item itself, and uh, half for the uh, precedent with the devil. I think it's a good start, at least. We haven't really had any angel runs lately. That's okay, though. Maybe it'll work out eventually. Mr. Mega for a key is a pretty sweet deal. I cannot tell a lie. Is it legal in the United States to use, like, George Washington, or, you know, one of the other, like, dead presidents, but, like, a long dead president? 
like a president who's been dead for a long time, 100 years, 200 years, um, and, and use him in like advertisements? Because it seems to me like that's the kind of thing that, uh, I mean, you should probably protect against, but also, how sweet would it be to be like, well, don't take it from me over here at, you know, Fusilu Auto Mall. We're totally gonna buy piggy bank, so when we play the blood bank, we get way more money. Anyway, don't take it from me over at Fusilu Auto Mall. Let me throw it out to our founding father, first president of the United States, who cannot tell a lie, George Washington. And then some dude in a George Washington, or like a badly CGI George Washington, just pops up and is like, well, I cannot tell a lie, and Fusillo Auto Mall has the greatest deals in the country. You think- is that legal? If it's- if it's legal, you should do it. That's just my philosophy on everything in life. Oh, we, um... So I think Monkey's Paw, when we get down to a half red heart, it gives us a black heart? Is that what that does? I have, uh, I have never... really looked at it before. I don't know if I've ever really been in a situation to do that. But hey, we pick up the pact for free, which is an awesome deal for us. Pick up a little more uh, money when we leave. And if there's more red hearts, let's pull up our map all the way here. There's not as many red hearts as I'd like, but we can probably farm like one more red heart out of it, right? Ah, no, there's this, eh, maybe we'll just leave now. I'm content with our situation. I don't think we need to gamble anymore. But I will. I can't remember, has Eden, do we need a boss rush kill? I don't think we do. I'm actually really enjoying this run right now. I think we're in a pretty damn good position. Uh, you know, meat, magic mushroom, and the mark all in the first two floors is pretty ridiculous. Okay, so we can't just cheese the system. I'm glad I kept playing, though, as long as we don't die, because I did pick up an extra dime out of that, which is kind of crazy good. So if I time it right, I should still be able to donate a lot on this run, which is great, because I've been, you know, probably taking out more than my fair share lately from those donation machines. See if maybe there's a black market over there. There's not. Okay, we've done our part. We've been very slow. Let's head down to the next floor. Money situation sorted. Let's move on. All right. Caves one. Still got the bean, but uh, great damage to back it up. Could get a lot of HP pretty easily there. Well, not a lot, but like one full red heart pretty easily. I'm hoping that we won't need to, though. Uh, since this is a dead end, uh, that could be a secret room. Yeah, I'm not even skeptical that it's a secret room. I just don't want to use like three bombs to find it, so we'll try to bomb our way out of this room. Hangman. Well, that could allow us to get that HP, but it can probably be used for a better purpose later. I like with Mr. Mega, you kind of get that screen shake going on when you, uh, when you use a bomb. Nice touch. I can dig it. Luck up. Don't mind if I do. Nothing exciting really going on here, unfortunately. I can't believe that I didn't take damage on that room. 100% deserved to. But doesn't that make it feel just a little bit sweeter? We'll have to ask Lubega about that one. Alright. Well, we got a key. Let's check out our shop. Much to my chagrin, shop does not contain uh, a key. We bought a, a ladder, but I don't think a ladder is really that great of a deal. So that's unfortunate. I've still bought the ladder, so I guess I can't talk shit about, you know, it being good or bad. But hey, there we go. Unlimited keys. Not so sad now. Alright. Gertie fight. I don't love taking damage right off the bat, but hey. I'm not too disappointed about our Gertie fight, given that we have uh, good damage. And beyond that, Mr. Mega Bombs. Give you a little screen shake there. Some Bear style bullshit. Not shit talking Flam Bear. I like their games a lot. They are well known for screen shake, though. It's a tears and shot speed up. And an evil upgrade, so we get a little extra black heart on there as well. Uh, I'll take it. I don't love, uh, you know, the, the two deal with the devil items we've got so far. I don't love them. That being said, you know, we've. Oh, this is well worth it, I think. Uh, that being said, we've set ourselves up nicely in the future for maybe being able to become Guppy. You know, we've got a decent amount of HP as is. I think we're in a pretty good spot, but there's no question that I might be being a little bit aggressive here. You know, that that could be something that you could, uh, you could argue. I don't feel bad about the ladder pickup. We're still doing very well on money, and if we find a Blood Bank, we basically get, you know, two for the price of one on the Blood Bank. Every time we play the Blood Bank, thank you, Guppy's uh, tail. I'll stick with the bean. It's been working out nicely for us, but, uh, Every time we play the Blood Bank, we get two plays of the Blood Bank for the price of one. It's a pretty smoking deal. And if we... <laughs> we could use that to generate flies. If we do go too low uh, on our HP, 
it don't really matter because we're gonna get uh, you we're gonna get uh, that uh, evil oh plus we have scapular oh man so I bet if we play a blood bank now and we get down to half of a red heart we instantly get one black heart out of uh, monkey's paw and one blue heart out of scapular that is stupid and awesome I love it there we go it had to happen at some point here it's also what I said when I lost my virginity, or that's what I'm imagining I'm gonna say when it finally happens. Uh, let's, uh, cool, deal with the devil's not gonna do anything for us. Let's head down to the next floor. We're doing pretty well here, even speeding up a little bit. Curse of the Unknown uh, just means that we don't really know what our HP is gonna be like. And that's okay, you know, life's full of mysteries like that. We, it, it, This is just like real life, dog. Nobody knows what they're... Uh, well, we had a luck upgrade earlier, no big deal. Um, you know, in real life, nobody knows, uh, you know, it's like Nas said. Life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high, because you never know when you're going to go. The whole life that we live is Curse of the Unknown, man. You can get hit by a bus tomorrow, you know. So that's why I choose to live my life in the fast lane. Spending all of my time indoors, never leaving my house, and mostly just playing video games. Can I get a secular amen now? People always try to make you feel guilty for that. And I think I think it's a lot of a lot of people buy into that, and they you know they're they're doing something they like. Maybe they're playing video games. And not everybody's like playing video games all the time because they want to. Some people, you know, they feel socially ostracized and stuff like that. I've been there, man, for real. Not just blowing smoke up your ass for once. And uh, you know, I used to think, man, I, I don't want to play video games anymore. I want to get. Uh, I'll take it because I don't know what it does really. But I'll, like, I want to get out of this house. Um, and I got out of the house, and it was fun being out of the house for a while. But then. It got like just a ooh stigmata. Don't mind if I do. It got just like a little bit older. I was like, man, those people are full of shit. You know, your friends would be like, "What are you doing inside? Come to Wakiki, bro." Like, fuck, dude. I can't go to Wakiki all the time. You know, just let me live in peace here. I just like being at home. You know, wearing a comfortable shirt, getting a little pudgy, and like, uh, you know, watching a movie or something like that. You're giving up on your life, bro. Yeah, well, you know what would be shitty is if I spent my whole life doing things that made me uncomfortable just to make other people think that I was living life to the fullest. That's a bullshit way to go, man. But if you're into that, you know, I, I, I have a sense of adventure. I, I lived and worked in a foreign country. I do a job that's kind of crazy. Well, not crazy, but unusual. But, you know, you gotta you gotta be honest with your own sense of adventure, you know? I, I, I hate that the defaults... I could use the speed upgrade, considering this ball and chain slowing me down a little bit here. Um, I, uh, I hate that the defaults for, like, enjoying life is just, like, traveling and, and being a thrill seeker. Dude, traveling is awesome if you like it. If you don't like it, don't feel like you're making some, you're making the wrong decision. Like, you need to be traveling all the time. There's some people who just fucking hate traveling and they're miserable when they travel. And they make other people miserable when they travel with them. And you know what? Many of those people who are being made miserable by miserable travelers deserve it. Because they're probably people who are like, hey, dude, you want to go interrailing with me in Europe? And they're like, no, not really. And then, they, you know, I'm not really much of a good traveler. And they go, oh, come on. Just live your life for a second, dog. And then, you know, they go. And then they're like, hey, why is such a bad attitude? You kind of, like, societally force me into... Oh, nice. Force me into coming into railing. Not everybody's values in life are the same as yours, you freaking, you know, lonely planet junkie. Some people just like to, you know, take their dog for a walk or something like that. Or, you know, watch an exciting action movie. Shouldn't be defining people's, like, uh... You know, they're, they're, how much value they're getting out of their own lives by w how their thrill-seeking, you know, quotient doesn't make any fudging sense if you ask me. Anyway. All this being said, I'm trying to get a key. If I can get a key, I'd be pretty thankful. So we could actually access our shop. You know, Curved Horn probably beats Monkey's Paw. Monkey's Paw's got some good stuff going on there, I, I won't tell a lie there. Justice gives us a key. Good enough for me. But uh, Curved Horn, a little bit nicer. You know, just give me the, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. You know, give me the damage upgrade. I could be breaking, like, all these pills and rocks and stuff like that. Honestly, that sounds kind of annoying, though. Well, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's buy Steam Sale first for the future, and we'll get uh, 9 Volt. 9 Volt doesn't really do anything for us uh, right now, but maybe in the future it could actually be very beneficial. 
For now, though, down to the next floor. I'm not saying that to shame anybody. If anybody's like, oh, I'm a world traveler, and that's like my number one value in life. Cool, dog. Roll with that. I'm happy you found something you feel so strongly about. Sincerely. I'm just saying, if you're one of those people, you know, you're sitting back and you're, you know, playing a video game watching me on YouTube or something like that, and you're saying, or not even me, you're watching somebody else, because I don't want this to sound like a sales pitch, and you're like, oh, I really feel like I should be going out and partying. You know, try it on for size if you get the chance. Some people like it. Some people uh, don't. Maybe you're one of those people that don't, and that's fine, too. Sit at home. Don't feel bad about it. Hey, that speed upgrade is good. Everybody's got to find their own, uh, you know, their own journey that makes them happy. you got to be true to yourself. Unless, like, that would, you know... Well, being true to myself, I want to be a thief. No, okay, you can't be true to yourself, Johnny. you gotta, you got to be very false to yourself. Okay, curse immunity plus evil up. That actually did give us HP, which is nice. Where did that sun card come from? Lucky me. I think I broke, uh, I broke one of the skulls and got the sun card. That's pretty nice. We'll know that in the future. I still don't really understand how to use Samson's chain at all, but I have it. So that's a start. Immunity to curses is awesome. Curse of the Unknown could still uh, have bunged us up a little bit if it, uh, fitting if we encountered it. Whoa, we cracked the shit out of that skull. We even found a tinted rock there that I was not looking for at all. Lucky me. I mean, it seems pretty good. Especially if you had, like, a lucky rock or something like that. Curved Horn is a great trinket, like an S-tier trinket, at least it was in vanilla. But I would probably get rid of it to pick up uh, Samson's Chain. Or uh, pick up Petrified Rock, Lucky Rock, whatever. What's up, Kate? Have you ever seen this item? You see this thing? Oh, it's the, the Splunky. Yeah, it's the Ball and Chain. That's real good. You can use it to, I mean, it seems like it's decent. You can use it to, like, break rocks and stuff. It's the only way I can even find Tinted Rocks. You missed the Tinted Rock. No, I didn't. D <laughs> did I? <laughs> She's never gonna tell me. <laughs> Kay was telling me that, uh, on a lot of her Isaac videos, some of the comments are like, You know what? Kate's pretty bad at Isaac, but credit where credit's due. She's really amazing at spotting Tinted Rocks. And, oh, that was a dumb use there. Uh, I have to, uh, I have to agree. She's all right at Isaac, though. She's really, really great at spotting tinted rocks, though. There's just, like, there's no debate about that. If it was standard to have, like, a co-driver in Isaac, uh, she would, uh, she would suit my videos well. World card. Well, we'll use it. We've already seen where the secret room is and all that stupid junk, but... Can't hurt, right? Boom, baby! All right, chariot card. Is there... Wait, the, the world card doesn't... Oh, my God. The world card doesn't tell us what the rooms are. It just... Oh, no, it does. Where's our boss room, then? Oh, it's down there. I just couldn't see it. All right. So we're going to um, try to use our chariot card on a room where we're going to take damage. I was hoping we'd find, like, a temperance or uh, a blood bank or something, but it doesn't appear that we will. It's a nice run, though, for, thus far. It's not uh, overpowered at all, but it is... It's nice. Boss rush room is, like... It's on the table. I don't know if I would get too uh, worked up over the possibility of it working out for us. But it could happen. I think we've already done it as Eden anyway. What is it? Yeah, we did, because that gives you uh, Unknown, which we haven't sh seen yet. But uh, I think, if I had to guess, my hunch is that that'll be the item that like just makes, the, it makes it so that items no longer have the same effects that they're supposed to. What am I doing there? Like, they have, items have random effects, maybe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Well, it, it makes sense to use our chariot card against the boss, even though it is going to slow us down a little bit. Item room gives us tarot cards. Uh, you know, I'll use it. That's pretty good. But to be honest with you, I kind of feel like the, the bean is better than the tarot cards. I think tarot cards are one of my least favorite in the game. Yeah, we'll um, totally take this and this. And then I think we'll start gambling our money away. And I'm just going to pretty much hold up here. How are you guys doing? We should be able to get at least to 400. Come on, don't break on me. We're finally able to get some serious momentum here on our donation machine. Just kind of jam yourself up against the back of it. Now, I know Nuns Habit and Nine Volt don't really do too much for us here with the bean. They do give us the ticking. Well, I should say, um, specifically... Is that a Tinted Rock? No. Specifically, uh, Nine Volt gives us the... I'll use it here. Gives us the uh, ticking use. Don't really want Whip Worm either. But, uh, still, I'm happy to have him. I know, we're going to go back for the sun, don't worry. Ooh, this could be big. Remember, we're only one item away from becoming Guppy. Look at our base damage, though, even not being Guppy. 
This is crazy. Not to mention, we also have uh, Mr. Mega Bombs. I think we just killed someone with Samson's chain there. So we get Necronomicon. Um, and, oh, and Little Brimstone and Guppy's Hairball. We're going totally all in here. Am I Guppy? I was like looking at it and I'm like, ooh. No, no. We Guppy now. Okay. Um, now we can fly. That's good news. I have no idea how Samson's whatever bullshit affects us here. Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Necronomicon. I haven't really used Necronomicon that much. It's a six room charge. That'll be lowered slightly. Sorry. That'll be lowered slightly based on the fact that we have uh, nine volt and also the nun Sabbath. So we'll be able to use it pretty often. I think it'll be more effective than the bean. The other thing that's good about it is that you don't have to get right next to the enemies in order to... What is wrong with me? You don't have to get right next to the enemies in order to be able to use it, so... Plus we're guppy, so we're in a pretty good spot. But our HP is not amazing. We have taken, like, almost literally every single deal we've come across. Little Brimstone, a nice pickup as well. We could have hedged our bets and not taken that, but whatever. No big deal. Let's check out our curse room. They've been good to us thus far. Now remember, you can't use Necronomicon once per room. I was just thinking to myself, I should use Necronomicon. No! No, don't use Necronomicon. You can't use it once per room. Three, four of them, huh? All right. Well, we can get our way into our shop easily, thankfully. I like it. Uh, we can't really donate any more money, which is a shame. That's not even our shop. This is our library. And it's a shame that we don't have anything better than this because... We could use our Necronomicon once, like, for free as a result of this. But if there was Book of Revelations or something, we could have used it better. There you go. How do you feel about that? Probably a little bit better, huh? It's not like uh, Necronomicon is really that useful for us in other contexts. Like, it's really just rooms that have, ideally, a lot of enemies we don't like. And you just clear them out. No problem. Like this room, for example, I wouldn't consider it Necronomicon worthy. Oh, you know what? We can get in there. This... Is that not a tinted rock? See, I'm having like flashbacks now. Uh, I, uh, I'm very happy with the secret room placement, I gotta admit. D6, though. Um, tell you what. Take our D6. Oh, but it's just gonna give us books. Yeah, I'm gonna reroll Necronomicon. It's, it's been nice while you've been here, but goodbye. Oops. <laughs> Actually, I think Lemon Mishap is still pretty good. Uh, but it's certainly not worth taking over the d6. d6 is going to make this run more interesting in, you know, good ways and bad ways. Be cool here. This is like free money, but also free d d6 placements. Oh, we can fly. We can just go over the spikes. Disregard. I'm an idiot. Alright. Sweet cash. Come back this way. Uh... Yeah, sure, why not? Reroll Lemon Mishap. That's a speed upgrade. I would say that's not worth it. Now, yeah, forget uh, our boss rush mode. But this is starting to feel like a real Isaac run now. Like an old vanilla style run. And immediately it's gone as a result of uh, the blood bank exploding. Speed downgrade. No thank you, sir. Well, Are You a Wizard sucks, the big one. But we can uh, be relatively okay because we have our flies kind of holding us back here. So, Oh, and Little Brimstone. Are you <laughs> Little Brimstone is like the Are You a Wizard insurance. Are you afraid of the wizard? I am. Luck down. Luck down. Luck up. Hey! That's the one. And are you a wizard? Yeah. No, thank you, sir. I'll uh, be sticking with the sun card. Because it's not straight up horse hockey. Keys. Well, that's not a key. But... Got some interesting stuff going on in this run. I, oh, is that a tinted rock? That's Get ready for that to be like the catchphrase of this episode. Don't blow up that... Uh, that bomb, please? That bomb rock? You know what I'm talking about. Can't do anything about that. We're pretty much just like... Like a toddler. Like, you can't fucking take us anywhere on this run. We're destroying everything. Should work your way around that. I'm definitely gonna explode myself once. I would, <laughs> That sounds like, you know, what you should do before a date. You don't want to go out there with a loaded gun. Right? There's something about Mary? Doesn't make any effing sense. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll buy another key. What do we, we don't need money for anything. Uh, I, I don't really like the boss key that much, but I think it's worth getting. If we have unlimited money. And there you go, we got Fire Mind, which is pretty okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, uh, partial. Ooh, careful. 
I'm not partial to the D6. Might as well buy this just in case we want to reroll uh, maybe a Devil Room after Mom, I guess. I'm not partial to the D6 on a run with Eden, but uh, ooh. I'm I'm not you know hating it either. If you want to give me more items to reroll, I'll be happy to take them. Now we will have to worry about the uh, explosions here. That's going pretty well though. We probably should have, by the way, destroyed all those skulls back there. But wow, this is uh, this is pretty strong. We're definitely going to be taking the Polaroid. We want to take that path. And oh snap! Lump of coal, lump of coal. Okay, lump of coal's probably better, I guess. Although with Krampus's head, Nun's habit, nine volt, we probably could have been using Krampus's head like all the fucking time, like all the time though. Uh, blue map allows us to see secret room. Not much more than that though. So in terms of like offensive power, we're very strong right now. Mm, yeah, we'll probably open those. I think this is totally worth it. Uh, in terms of offensive power, we're very, very strong right now. We suffer a little bit defensively. Don't have very much HP. But we do have scapular. This this will probably end up all being worth it for uh, that one spirit heart. Unless that dude explodes in my face. I've got to remember to use a uh, little brimstone more often. But that's, you know, the mark of a pretty good run. If you're not using little brimstone because your existing shots are doing too much damage. Yeah, this is shaping up pretty nicely. And yeah, we became Guppy. We probably would have been fine without Guppy, though. So I'm not opening... Uh, fuck those dudes. I'm not opening Tinted Rock. Or not Tinted Rocks. Golden Chess. Should just call them Tinted Chess. Then when I get the name wrong, at least it's not, like, so wrong, I guess. Well, it's very easy to destroy these in our situation. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to open them because we need to save our keys for the chest. And I do think we got a pretty big potential upside on this run. Like, I, we're in a fabulous position. The one thing I will admit, by the way, is this run's really putting it on display how much I need to figure out what Tinted Rocks look like and internalize that and get ready to learn that shit because, um, like, I probably could be getting so many more Spirit Arts, maybe even getting up to the HP cap. But unfortunately, I don't really know what they look like, so I'm scared. Also, I don't really want to run through there with this, even though those items could, or there could be good items in there. It scares the crap out of me as well, because um, those rocks have a tendency to explode, sort of. Okay. I figured, you know, who dares wins, right? Well, we got some red hearts out of it, if we ever need them in the future. All right, that's one side of the floor taken care of. We haven't really done anything. We haven't really been in trouble either, so, you know, just kind of like a lost, lost half of the floor here. I mean, not that this is abnormal, but the fact that our damage is so high really means that our fly damage is, is out of control. Yeah, yeah, this is worth it. Could have re-rolled it, but uh, I don't think that would have been prudent. Getting free deals with the devil, even if it is only going to be one more of them, is pretty good. Basically, we traded a spirit heart for a guaranteed deal with the devil on this floor. Might not end up being worth anything. Maybe we would have gotten it anyway. Or maybe this will be worth, like, a uh, free mom's knife or something for us, you know? Those things matter. And I think we'll have a, a re-roll ready for that if we're uh, so inclined. And we do have this sun card, so uh, if I get more HP from our boss, I... Yeah, let's put it this way, there's items that I would be less happy to get. HP would be fine. I could always use a reroll there. I'm still not quite engrossed in reroll meta yet. Uh, that's probably Mr. Fred, huh? I'm not sure how I feel about that guy. He's done me dirty a couple times recently. Let's do it. It is indeed Mr. Fred. Mr. Fred is like the boss where if you're in a good position, he's the easiest boss in the whole world. If you're in a bad position, Get ready to eat shit, basically. He died more quickly than I've ever seen him die before. Gave us magic scab for extra HP. Not re-rolling that. And dark... How can I say no? I know. I know what you guys are thinking. It's Dark Bum and Guppy. What an asshole, right? What can I say? You know, I don't make the rules. What I will do is... Um, blow these up. Wow, umbilical cord. You're too kind. Well, it didn't work out the way I thought it would. There's my spirit heart, thank you. I think it's fair to probably maybe start calling this one a one run. I don't want to get uh, ahead of myself here, but you know, Dark Bomb's going to make it pretty easy to stay near the HP cap, I think. Well, we got a spirit heart out of it. I don't feel too bad about that. We got a key out of it, too, so let's open this one. 
A hey, half red heart. All right. Playing uh, hard to get, huh? I know we could just see plenty of people probably saying, oh, just go to the exit, just steamroll the rest of the game. No, we can't, we can't do that. We gotta, we gotta try, you know, to do, uh, to do our best. We're only one spirit heart away from the cap anyway, so just uh, cool your jets here. Cool your horses, you know? Hold your jets. Probably two spirit hearts here, maybe even three. Wow, uh, we'll take the black heart. And we'll leave. So this is a stupidly powerful run right now. Uh, oh, I did show the seed before. I told you, bullshit detector warning. The bullshit is off the charts right now. And it really feels like I've been having great luck in the game lately. Oh, Northern Lion, Rebirth's just easier. Nah, dog. It's just skill. I'm half messing with you. As much as I would love to believe that wholeheartedly. Uh, probably not gonna be able to go to our boss trap room if I had to guess. Three keys, though, is a great deal. Luck down. Are you a wizard? Amnesia, wow. Somebody up there likes me. Well, the sun card, unfortunately, doesn't counter amnesia. Nothing special there. Well, it's not like we really knew where we were going anyway, and we already found the secret room, so... If you're gonna get amnesia, that's maybe the time to do it. Okay, we're trading keys for bombs, and then, you know, bombs back for keys. That's probably... oh my god. It's probably the fastest I've seen, uh... Pin die in Rebirth, at least in my own hand here. Nice. Once you get the swing of it, it's pretty easy. So Blood Claw is basically just extra damage on half of our shots. It might be extra damage on all our shots, but like an extra visual effect on uh, half of our shots. Combined with Curved Horn, the Mark, Guppy, Magic Mush, etc., etc., Fire Mind, uh, we, we put ourselves in a pretty freaking amazing position. And yeah, okay, let's be honest. We haven't put ourselves in it. We've been put in it by the game. But still, I appreciate it. Uh, well, what am I doing here? We might as well play regular Judgment. You never know what kind of goodness we can get here. Hey, Justice, don't mind if I... D oh, no! You blew yourself up, you freaking dummy! With the Polaroid, I can play you a couple more times here if you want to just be cool. Hey! Give us Gimpy. Not that good, but uh, increases our survivability. I used two of hearts to get half a heart. Yeah, you got a fudging problem, mate. Should have used it then, probably. Or one after that, I guess. Anyway. what I, The point I'm trying to make here is we don't really need to min-max right now. Because we're already, like, min-maxing. I, I, I don't think it's been nerfed, like, min-maxing as a style. That's like saying, you know, perfectionism isn't good anymore. I mean, perfectionism sometimes can be deleterious, but you get the idea. You know, uh, we're in a position where we can afford to not really min-max because HP... We can, we can afford to not min-max HP, I should say, because HP is, uh, you know, now gated, basically. Can't have more than X. That's uh, the Rosary Bead. Uh, I actually think Rosary Bead is pretty okay. You got something? No. I think Rosary Bead is pretty okay, but there's kind of no point for us to take it. Because I have a uh, Dark Bomb, and I have a lot of damage. And I would like to keep a lot of damage. When our HP is probably going to be largely irrelevant. So yeah, I would, you know, you could almost count this one already. Let's hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Alright, let's do this. This is the, like one of the rare situations where I'm making an effort to use Little Brimstone. Because when enemies are far away from me, that keeps me out of harm's way. Mom's heart is dead. We'll be heading up to the cathedral. Sorry, Dark Bomb, you don't need to pay out, man. Just take the night off. And we'll keep saving uh, our sun card, just in case. He, man, that's I didn't know Dark Bomb would actually like give you HP on the next floor. That's amazing. You're a good man, Dark Bomb. I'm too lazy to take your HP now. You give it to me later. Okie dokie. Oh, all right. Well, we only had to use two bombs there. We only had to use one. It's always nice when your flies destroy any other enemy on the room in one hit. This is another room where little brimstone uh, can shine a little bit. Whoa! Heaven let your little brimstone down. 
That was actually what Collective Soul originally called that song. Most people don't know it. Um, I know it because I was actually one of the founding members of Collective Soul. I'm Collective, uh, along with my partner Soul. He's a fish. He was played by Haley Joel Osment in the film of the same name. That's what we call a callback, motherfucker! Alright. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, I like it, I love it, I want some more of it, but I must admit, I have to stick with the D6 because we're going down to the chest. If we get Tammy's head, you know, <laughs> find me in 10 years, Tammy's head, I'll be ready for you then. Uh, if we get it on the chest, I'll be happy to take it, but for now I can't sacrifice all of that uh, beautiful reroll potential. Surely you understand. Now, I'm just playing it cool here. You know, if we could even go down to the next floor with this much HP, I would be over the moon. Which is an expression, and I'm not saying literally I'll be an astronaut, I'm just saying, you know, I'll be very happy. But I think that in pretty much record, well not record time, but in pretty much good time, we're gonna be down here. Alright, what do we got? Sacrificial Dagger, that's a first, we gotta take it. Blank card, oh, Sacrificial Dagger rotates differently now. Okay. Uh, I think we'll take Spider Babby. It's a weird one, because I want to take Blank Card, because it's Blank Card plus the Sun, but I really don't think we're going to need it, so I'm going to reroll both of these, even though Blank Card plus the Sun is a great combination. Every four rooms, you get full HP. Especially with Nuns have it, and like Scapular, we might be unable to die if we take Blank Card plus the Sun, but rerolling's more fun. Virgo. Uh, I wish I didn't take it. And I'll take the HP, even though it's kind of boring, because I'm assuming, because of Guppy's tail, we're going to get a lot of red chests anyway. Now, if I end up losing this run, feel free to make fun of me, because I didn't take Sun uh, Blank card, which is straight up, like, just the combination that, if you have Nun's Habit and, like, X amount of HP, makes you unkillable. Now, with Scapular, I think that maybe makes the requirement even lower for us here, which is great. Throw a bomb down here, that should simplify it a little bit. Not that it would live through uh, much of a barrage anyway. Secret room. Okay, super greed. You don't want no part of this super greed. I think you'd uh, be better off just vacating. Obviously, uh, monster manual is not so I really, by the way, I agree with the petition. Change it back to monster manuel. Because now I feel like an idiot every time I say it. What do you mean manuel? It's manual. Manuel is a... Name predominantly used by individuals of Mexican descent. Manual is a kind of book. Are you an idiot or something? I'll take infamy. I'm not an idiot, okay? It's just a hard habit to break after so much Monster Manuel and vanilla. But I don't really care either way. Dark bomb, my man. All right, mom's bra. Uh, it's it's not good enough to take, but that's okay. This is feeling like a really traditional overpowered run now. Guppy and the D6 and many opportunities to, uh, you know, kind of scum the D6, if you if you know what I mean. Via Nun's Habit, etc. Yeah. So people have told me, by the way, if you fight uh, Mega Maw, I can't remember if this is, this is Mega Maw, yeah. If you fight Mega Maw and you just kind of hang out in the bottom left corner, you just can't be hit based on the, uh, based on the way the projectiles kind of move. Why did I guess it doesn't matter that I use that. Um, you just can't be hit based on the way that the projectiles move. That's really good information. I hope to uh, put it into practice, even though I didn't there. I appreciate the tips like that. You know, it's easy to remember, or easy to forget, I should say, that there was a time, you know, if you go back to Vanilla Isaac, where I didn't know that you could scum the Monstro 2 fight. Definitely there was a time where I didn't know you could scum the Mom's Heart fight. But the Monstro 2 thing seems more ridiculous, so I wanted to go with that. Oh, finally, we got that range upgrade we've been needing for so long. So Dead Bird is okay. I mean, it's passive, so it's worth picking up. Book of Sin is worse than Mom's Bra, and I think Dry Baby is actually a pretty sweet item. This is the definition of my life. Lying in bed in the sunlight. That's a, that's a beta band reference. That's why I get all the subscribers. I got all the hottest indie music references and John Cusack nods. Movies of the early 2000s. My manager told me that would give me mass appeal. And I said, fuck you, man. I don't want to be part of your machine, dog. Sorry, right, we're cool now. That's why I keep making counterculture content like, you know, 40 episodes of The Binding of Isaac a week. Man, I don't want to work your my dad's 40-hour job. Is this... Oh, okay, Infestation's still really good, but I went through an emotional roller coaster there. 
And I was like, um, I thought that was quad shot, and I was like, well, that's it. I can't, I can't stop this run because it would. I, I don't want to close my eyes because I miss you, baby, and I don't want to miss a thing. Are we gonna like become Lord of the Spiders? We just picked up three spider items. No, no, you don't understand. I can't fight. I can't fight yet. I don't want this run to end. I don't want to find blue baby. Seriously, it's just an infant and I'll miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. Hey, try the shrimp cocktails. Oh, good. Yeah, we got the whole set now. The Playtex, you know, functional wear line from 1983. Nice. That's a... Uh, Smart way to take damage. Just walk into some fire for no reason. That's, that's the new meta. You should watch Cobalt Streak sometimes. All the kids are walking into fire now. Huffing their Jenkum and then just going straight into the fucking fire. You know the Garth Brooks song, Standing Outside the Fire? Not anymore, motherfuckers. Life is not tried, it is merely fucking survived when you're standing inside of the fire. How do you feel about that, Garth man? Let's see what we got in here. I don't know what I was expecting. Bad gas, luck up. Well, we uh, really don't need to worry about that, if I had to say. We're not even going to pick up lard. Not to be cocky, but because I don't really want to be slowed down. Oh my god! You guys, did we just come to an amazing realization? Does Samson's chain block bullets? I'm trying to get it in front of me so I can check. Oh my god, it does! Samson's chain blocks incoming bullets! I think. I'm semi-confident in my hypothesis right now. Get down there. If so, that's kind of a revelation. You can use that as kind of a shield. Well, we unlocked Mysterious Paper. Parker Lewis can't lose, motherfuckers. I'm rolling in the deep here. We're knocking out all sorts of kills. Filling up all sorts of posted notes. Who is not full? Maggie, Blue Baby, Eve, Lazarus. That's it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, ignore my stuttering and click the like button. Apart from that, subscribe if you want to see more Rebirth on a regular basis. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.